it's time for a vision of Muhammad for Islam. I am the messenger unto Israel that they have inherited all mankind and are now named Chrislam. But I am also the messenger unto Islam, the messenger unto Christianity, the messenger unto Buddhism and Hinduism and Hyperianism. I am the messenger of love that is the Kingdom Age Covenant messenger of the Kingdom Age Covenant. Malachi 3, 1 foretold as the preparation of our Lord's peace that would prepare his way by his message. So he says unto all of us, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it. I'll, I'll write my law and my, uh, on your hearts and my love and beyond that no one will ever need to be taught of him anymore, says the Lord. So light the candle of hope and truth and faith as we move ahead. And because the Lord says, all shall know me, all mankind, from the least to the greatest, and so have we, because he is love living in us, if we have it alive, moving forward as a child, not being in the land of the walking dead, committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting our love die to where God in us his light has gone out, spiritual suicide. Many are in the land of the walking dead, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of love, whom Christ alone is. And those who love are born of God and born again and know him because he is love, 1 John 4, 7. So these are the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of the very best dreams for the kingdom age coming alive. And in these days, only now we can finally realize that even though it's been a small world after all, Mickey and many are right. It's a world of festering fears and tears where our perfect love, Christ's love flowing through us can cast all the fear away, all the self-fulfilling prophecy of doubt and, and fear. Uh, so praise the Lord, these are the days of a better story. And it's a small world after all, and Mickey is very happy. He's going along with the ride here with me. And I always treat Mickey and Minnie very nice. They are my good friends. And we got to be as little uh, children, don't you know? And so praise the Lord that peace shall come between the peoples. Woe unto disbelieving souls who have been baptized in dirty water of darkness, for they have walked by their own whims, not caring about the Lord God's commanding prophecy that's only found in the book of Habakkuk in the Jewish Bible alone. Woe therefore unto spiritually rebellious ones of all religions, foolishly dwelling in a multitude of the blackest errors. For such ignorant losers will keep ignoring this divine light sent from the Lord's blazing Son of Peace who judges such craziness as he looks down upon all blackness to destroy it, since that alone will reflect his overflowing light of love. His refiner's fire has come, for he alone is the keeper, the maintainer, and the discerner of holiness. And so let peace begin, uh, and we will walk with one another without condemning one another. And it shall come to pass that there will be an understanding, and let it be understood that all angry souls practicing the ways of flesh enslave themselves and become enemies of love, regardless of their faith, which is the of the purest uh, useless vanity if they turn their love light off. Commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Our righteousness has been as filthy rags. Um, and so is all of our understandings, good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's never been about believing anything. It's always been about believing in love and moving it forward. That is, that is love. And know that uh, how, nor could such unloving religious souls of earth ever notice the moon, how by night and by day it looks down upon them in the grip of the forces of of the blackest gross darkness, which is the ignorance of love alone. And so woe unto all those beguiling their limbs with such the such a insane fire 
um, absurdity. They actually think that there's love on planet Earth if it's not divine, if it's not un if it's not unconditional. I tell you, there's never been any love, divine love on Earth unless it has been divine. Christ's love was divine, and it's my my love is divine, provably because I'm preaching to nobody. Uh, 2,200. Uh, uh, videos at one channel and I got 12 subscribers. I'm preaching in vain to the world and I know it. Isaiah 49 4 foretold this and I'm doing it anyways because I'm the strong and mighty one line by line precept by precept to bring forth as a destroying storm because the appointment of Jeremiah 110 is in my mouth that God wants to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations because these are the days of the carpenter of the ages. The hammer of his tongue is decreed that all delusionary uh, gross darkness must be pulled down so that the wise may shine as the stars, realizing we are even angels in the flesh. Peacefulness can be found on earth. Far too many, far too many walls and far too few bridges have been built. And as a result, the Lord has now brought forth this gospel of his love to become the best good news of the kingdom age to start bringing forth some new peace unto multitudes so let uh, all people finally now begin to see that millions of words about peace are not as good as but one word from our living lord god whose word is flowing again now he said in matthew 24 to 22 that uh, unless his word came forth anew uh, to cut time short no flesh could survive there is no force or nothing on planet earth that could cut time short aside from his word and that is guaranteed so know that these are the days when god wants to bring his peace forth as a shower so it's time to lift up the lord's most glorious names for only he alone teaches men that there's no good war there's uh just as there's no bad peace and accordingly these are terrific days when people will begin dwelling on what It'll be like beating their swords of distortional, obsolete faith uh, into the sickle of his love that comes with this everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, of which I am the writer. I am the writer of uh, the flying scroll, line by line, precept by precept. The vision was written plainly on the tablets, so all those who readeth it may run. Habakkuk 2.2. So these are the days for the great harvest love shall move us ahead. And then shall all children of obedience finally come to understand that peace is the only battle that's ever worth fighting for. And let all people lift up the Lord's most blessed names. He alone is the beloved, the blessed, the adored, our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, icon of icons. And he has made a way in the wilderness through his spirit of prophecy to cast down all the mountains, to lift up all the uh, 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 the hills and to flatten it all down again uh, so that all people might stand before him. One loving God over one loving people whose love needs to be stirred up badly. And so praise him evermore, people for he alone is the blameless, the purity of virtue, and the most wondrous Lord who brings his loving children what they need while never giving them more than what they can bear. And for that blessed reason, our Lord God, he delights in his faithful few, and he adores them as they call upon him to become the world's healer, uh, the upholder of his own, and the bringer of tranquility, who shall cause uh, freedom, personal freedom, love's freedom and peace's freedom to come forth in all of our hearts to bring forth the kind of unending peace that can never be taken away from any unwavering believers for he alone is the sovereign the supreme and the crown lord 
who's been sending forth many dreams and visions unto his people so that they can be most assured uh, of his incredible plans have always been good and all of our troubles and uh, are not worthy to compare to to the glory which shall be revealed in us for the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former and the first our last and the last our first and we were created last because we're fearfully and wonderfully made at a higher than the angels and that is the truth of God. So consequently, all sealed doors of hope must now be unlocked, and all windows of faith must likewise be open, since our good Lord, who's risen as good shepherd over all the flocks of man, he is now bringing forth his own inward peace into millions that will transcend all of their imagination. So it's time to worship him through praise. So let the people of love raise up their feeble hands unto our great amen of the ages for he shall now allow those who are poor in spirit to find out that he's offering them the greatest spiritual riches that will make them wealthier than kings ever thought of and let all followers of his light never again take their eyes off the stars knowing that there really are footsteps on the moon and so praise him evermore because the eminence of our treasure of excellence our excellence of treasure is the price of pearl of great reward and deep calls unto deep and he wants us to come and follow him who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away i am daniel and this is the latter day mountain of food of isaiah 25 where all shame and guilt will be removed off all people lingering here for a while so come to the picnic here you're going to have a fun time so praise the Lord because uh, our Lord Adonai Elohim uh, Allah Ad, whatever you want to call him our great I amen uh, Isa Yeshua Jesus the living word of God he is the light of heaven he is the flawless the perfection and the paragon and praise God we can we can get our teeth into if we can get our teeth into that we can light that candle of hope and it will never go out and it's never gonna be spooky i promise only good things it's gonna be like eden <laughs>